Can you believe that there is a world record for having undergone the most plastic surgeries? We're about to introduce you to the woman who has been sliced and diced more than anyone else to look like a living doll. I've had 50 cosmetic procedures. Nose job, upper eyes, facelift, liposuction, breast augmentation. I've had more cosmetic procedures than anyone else in the world. My chin bone reduced, more facelifts, maybe three, three more cheek implants. I really invented the extreme makeover. That accomplishment has landed Cindy Jackson in the Guinness Book of Records, now a hard to believe 53. She has gone from this to this to this in a continuing process that began 20 years ago. I wasn't a very attractive young woman. I thought if I have cosmetic surgery, I might be able to get all the things money could buy that the other girls were offered. I had a nose job, um, my upper and lower eyes done, and a lower facelift and a bit of liposuction. I was just starting out, but I wanted something more extreme. I was looking for a particular look, which took years to hone. That look was Barbie, yes, the doll, and we were there back in 1995 as Cindy neared what she thought was completion of her dream. I plan to be finished in the spring of 96 with, with the basic structural work. Oops, a decade later, Cindy had another icon in mind, the legendary French sex symbol, Brigitte Bardot, and that meant more surgery, lots more. I've had Botox in my forehead to give my outer eyebrows a lift. Um, my upper eyes were redone, that's an upper eye lift. I've had a full face lift. My lower lip was filled with Restylane to get a nice big lower lip like, like Bardot has. Brigitte Bardot flashed a fabulous smile, and Cindy wants it. And I've had two long veneers put on my front teeth to give me a bunny-like tooth arrangement that, that Bardot has. Other than that, everything you see here is completely natural. You've seen Barbie. Now meet the human Ken doll. Stylist Steve Earhart is the creator of the Hollywood Secrets hair care line and has 44 cosmetic enhancements to his credit, including rhinoplasty, liposuction, Botox, and a chin implant. These are pec implants. They move just like muscles. Looking to own Cindy's world record, Steve took our cameras along for procedure number 45, a feather lift. It involves pulling a heavy gauge suture through the cheek to create the effects of a facelift without the cuts. The thread has, has a little, little spikes on it, and so that helps to keep it up in that position. And then just to kind of raise that area from the mouth up into the cheek area. Don't forget to pull. Steve is somewhat of a plastic surgery pioneer, having had the first ever bicep implant. So what's next on his list? My next first is going to be orbicularis surgery, where they go in and they eliminate all the crow's feet out from under the eyes and smooth this area so that you don't get crow's feet anymore. They separate the skin from the muscle and redrape the skin over the muscle so that it's not really attached. But is this quest for beauty by way of the scalpel an addiction? Cindy claims, no way. I'm not a very good addict, because addicts have got to have this something. They crave it, they can't live without it, they will do anything to get it. And the only reason I've had so much was because I had so many things that I wanted to change. Ohio born and raised, Cindy has called London home for more than 30 years. It is here where she runs her website, cindyjackson.com sells her line of skincare products and has become a source of cosmetic surgery advice for the rich and famous. I have advised some of the biggest names on the planet because they see my surgery, they've had surgery of their own that hasn't always gone to plan. And when your face is on the cinema screen, 20 feet high, if you've had bad surgery, it's there for all to see. So I have been contacted on the quiet by many a Hollywood A-lister. The big question, now that she's got the Bardot look, are the nips and tucks a thing of the past? This could be it, but somehow I don't think so. <laughs>